Good morning, folks. We've got the Global Climate Report for February finally out. More water at the TRAPPIST-1 system than I could possibly imagine, and confirmation of the red system crossing by hours thousands of years ago. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star, all quiet once again. Nothing but the coronal hole to see as we lack sunspots and even plasma filaments, and you can see in the solar wind, Plasma speed in purple dropping way out since the peak 48 hours ago and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. The opening you see here will have its solar wind arrive at Earth Friday or Saturday, already connecting to our planet via IMF and kinetic alpha waves. Let's look at the global climate report for the last month. Here is the data, hot areas versus cold, and here's the map that the public gets to see and is distributed to the media. As we go through, you are attempting to notice how many blue areas disappear in favor of neutral white in the public release, and how we have had a fair bit of cold regions across the planet last month, but in terms of what the world will think about February 2018, now you see them, and now you don't. Moving on to TRAPPIST-1, in an amazing study, the mass density hypotheses of last year are now confirmed, so if Earth has 0.02% water mass, the dry inner TRAPPIST planets have 15, and some of the outer planets are 50% water. This is star water at its finest, folks. For those who are getting into cosmology with us, here's a terrific paper on the impossible early galaxy problem for the cold dark matter paradigm. It appears these two professors don't believe we've selected the right cosmology as of yet either. Lastly, folks, I must recommend you go watch my 20-minute talk called A Planet Crossed. It's only on our website on the preview page, and it details much of the 2015 discovery of Shoal Star System, and it's crossing through our solar system. Just this week, there was an odd but fascinating confirmation that the small red binary did cross into our solar system 70,000 years ago. They say Earthlings would have seen the new member of the heavens tracking across the sky, and that it may have been an even closer approach into the inner cloud. My lone concern here is the star's motion in the video. They had it coming right at the solar system and then losing all concepts of attraction. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, including the global electric circuit column of the strongest storm on Earth. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.